first, we have to tell you about some other big stories we are following tonight, starting with this one here right now. In Northern Virginia, leaders are sounding the alarm over dangerous drugs that our kids are getting their hands on. We've been telling you about counterfeit Percocet pills laced with fentanyl. Two teens died from overdoses last week. You remember that. And now one school system is taking action. Our Colby Satterfield joins us live outside of Alexandria City Public School headquarters. And Colby, what exactly are they recommending at this point? Lorenzo, tonight the school board is actually going to you know, start to tackle it head on. They are proposing to have naloxone inside schools. Naloxone is commonly known as Narcan, which is a medication that reverses opioid overdoses. Last night, Alexandria City Police issued a citywide warning about kids overdosing on what they call little blue pills that are counterfeit Percocet laced with fentanyl. Over the last month, they say there were 12 opioid overdoses reported in Alexandria. Half of those involved juveniles. Captain Monica Lyle with the Alexandria Police Department is stressing that this is a life and death situation right now, especially for kids. Fentanyl is everywhere right now. It's in our communities, it's in our schools, and we have to be aware of that. Students, uh, parents, everyone needs to be aware of that, uh, but there is no safe pill. There's no safe drug. It can be laced with fentanyl and it is absolutely deadly. Governor Ralph Northam signed a bill that allows schools to store Narcan back in 2019. Something Lyle pointed out is the effects of Narcan to counteract the effects of fentanyl. If this ACPS proposal to put Narcan in schools is approved, school nurses, health personnel and staff would be able to administer it. This meeting is set to start at 630. I will be in there and we'll have the latest on what comes out of it tonight at 11. I'm live in Alexandria, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.